Combating Alzheimer's disease, that's the objective of these researchers here in Belgium. They're working on a tool to improve early detection of the disease, which affects more than 40 million people worldwide. Memory loss, language and behavioural disorders. The symptoms are well known, but it sometimes takes years before the disease is formally diagnosed. For the relatives of people suffering from Alzheimer's, it's crucial to act early to combat this neurodegenerative disease which has no cure. Annie is 73. She was diagnosed early at the age of 62 and lives in a care home where her husband visits every day. Early diagnosis is essential. If you can diagnose the disease early on, you can take all the necessary measures, whether that's medication, the future, your future as a couple, and you can seek solutions, something which isn't possible if you wait too long and the disease has reached an advanced stage. Research is progressing on the analysis of biomarkers, the molecules that reflect the brain lesions characteristic of the disease. Particular attention is focused on small proteins called beta-amyloid 42. At the European Commission's Joint Research Centre in Giel, scientists are developing what's known as reference material. In people that have Alzheimer's disease, the cerebrospinal fluid that surrounds the brain uh, changes and the level of this biomarker, a beta-42, changes. So when we measure this biomarker in cerebrospinal fluid, it will give us some information about the brain of this person. So what we do is we produce a reference material that is really like an anchor point for the value of this our analyte of interest and that the in vitro diagnostics companies use to set the scale of their test kits. And they then pr provide these test kits to the university or hospital laboratories that do the measurements and they will then obtain results that are comparable between them and over time. It's taken six years of international collaboration to achieve this. Standardizing tests is crucial not only to facilitate early detection, but also to develop possible treatments. Clinical tests are currently underway on new drugs. They are mainly aimed at beta-amyloid aggregation of this peptide into plaques that is believed to damage the neurons. And they are being tested today in late-stage clinical trials and uh, with promising results. The day we have a new type of drugs that we call disease-modifying drugs that will really make the disease uh, better or stop the progression of the disease. We need diagnostic tools that we can trust and also that you can compare between different countries and different labs within the same country. Research on biomarkers is progressing rapidly with the hope of soon being able to heal or at least slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease, described as one of the biggest global health challenges of the 21st century. Thank you.